All right, um, I am on my way to run some errands before I don't do it. I probably should, and I forgot to check the refrigerator to see how old my salads are from last week and if there's any life left in them or I have to throw them away. But I guess at this point it doesn't matter because I should just get a few. I should have buy more. You know how that is when you buy more than what you really need. Oh, I should have went the other way. Shoot. I'm going to cut across. Um, you know when you buy too much of what you need or you buy things and you aren't not using them, especially with produce? one of those. Wait, that's how you get to Home Depot, right? I think. Yeah. Um, I hope so. I'm new to this area. I don't know. Oh, I got a dead end. No, I didn't. Can I get out from here? Maybe I can. Um, nope. Nope. I had a dead end. Is this a dead end? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I never went this way before. So, it is a dead end. Ooh, they have a boat for sale. Very nice. Um, so, I wanted to go to Home Depot because it's the nearest place in the area that has what hopefully is vacuums. We have a number of vacuums, none of them work. And Daniel said he's gonna fix it. And I'm like, but you don't have to fix it. I can just buy another one. And I'm not going to wait for him to fix it. Oh my god, my hands are so dry. I'm not going to wait for him to fix it. Because he's got other things he has to worry about. And fixing all of our broken vacuums <laughs> isn't worth it for me. I don't know what that sign says. That's somebody's window. Um, so I'm just going to buy a smoker and we're throwing it away. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just buy one buy another vacuum it's worth it for me to get another vacuum that works hopefully and the problem is I'm guessing the all right so this is what happened I had gotten a vacuum from Best Buy when I had got it when I had originally bought a galaxy with them they had a special I think it was the galaxy 10 or something no the Galaxy 10? Was it the 10? No, it lost anymore. I think this is the right way. I got a Galaxy 8. Was it the 8? 10, 8. Whoa. Um, I think it was the 8. And if you pre-bought it with Best Buy, you get a $100 gift card for Best Buy or earbuds, AirPods, whatever they're called. A free pair of AirPods. And I'm like, well, I don't understand the whole rage with AirPods yet. At that point, I didn't know, and I still don't know. So let me just get go with the option of getting the gift card. So I did. Um, crazy story along with that, we're not gonna get into. So um, I wound up getting a vacuum with whatever money I had left on the gift card. So it was under $100. It was just a basic vacuum that I think was highly rated. It wound up conking out on us. Daniel rigged it to fix it so you could turn it on, but there's no on off switch. So you plug it in if you want to use it, you unplug it if you don't. <laughs> and that's how it works. But it doesn't suck like it should. So I don't know, or at least not anymore. So I had bought a Dyson that was like under 400 within the last year. Highly rated, but it was like three, four hundred dollars. Same problem. I mean, except he didn't have to rig it to like plug it in and take it out, whatever, to get it to work. But similar problem, it's not sucking the way it should anymore. And rather than having him, like rather waiting, oh, I think it gas, rather waiting for him to fix it, I'm like, just gonna buy a new vacuum that he's gonna have to put together for me because I'm not gonna put these together and he's gonna complain that I bought a new vacuum if I could find one here at Home Depot now and that's that and I was also craving 
buffalo wings and I've never made them before so I was like let me look up a recipe my cousin Michelle said she if she gets a chance to she'll send me one also um, and I can make buffalo wings for dinner so I was planning on going to shop right after Home Depot do I stay in the spot? I might be able to um, so she's I'm gonna look to see if they have any drumsticks and wings that look appetizing tonight and I'm gonna try to make buffalo wings for dinner and Daniel bought this gift pack of hot sauces last night I think at Walmart for us so and it looks like dynamite it's really cool okay so I was hoping to maybe use that where we could use it ourselves you know like do like a taste test with the sauces with the chicken wings and I'm gonna bake them make baked Buffalo wings. Yum. Yum. So I'm going to go on Home Depot now. I may not show you Home Depot because, you know, people get, I don't know. I know how I get. I'm nervous. I get nervous when people are in the store and I'm filming. I'm going to have to grab a shopping cart. Here we go. Oh, I forgot that bottle for that. Um, you know, um, I get nervous filming in stores when there's people around because I'm sure they don't want to be on camera. Or I never got to ask them if they want to be on camera. So I don't like to do it when there's people around because they might not like it. They might not like it. You know? I didn't get their permission. So, that being said. That being said, I'm not. Just finished shopping at Home Depot. I'm about to load my. I just realized that my camera was tilted the wrong direction, so my video might be upside down later. But I can fix it. Is anyone honking at me? I don't know. I don't know. So I did buy a vacuum cleaner. It was like the Max Pet one, whatever it's called. It was like $1.99. And I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And it's bagless and it says it never stops sucking. So we'll see. <laughs> we will see about that. And I got some other stuff like cleaning products and I'm on my way now to ShopRite to get some foods and things. Foods and things, and which is like literally in the next shopping center over, but I have to exit, I believe, to get to it. I don't really know my way around yet, so don't hit me. We have like every fast food joint that you can think of in my neighborhood for the most part. There's no Pizza Hut as far as I know and there's probably no Domino's either. That's why I said almost. But we have a White Castle. They're about ready with the Burger King they just put together. It's almost done. The Chipotle recently opened. I haven't tried it yet but I figured it's pretty much like any other Chipotle. <laughs> Maybe one day when I'm working, I'll order it for like lunch or something and my lunch, my late lunch. And we have a Wendy's on my street where we live now. Because of course we have to have the best one on my street. I haven't been there either. And there's a McD's a little bit down the road. And we have a Dunkin and like a bunch of mom and pop places. There's like a number of different pizza places in the area and Chinese food and a Japanese restaurant. And what else do we have? There's a bagel shop over there by some ice cream place and a Chinese restaurant. And I love how they decorated Wendy's like outside. There's um, 
those blow up Christmassy type balloons decoration things. And what else do we have? There's McDonald's. Um, oh, 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 and there's a Popeyes by McDonald's where the Duncan is. We have a Popeyes. I like Popeyes when they get your side orders right. The one my, that I used to go to on the way home on occasion, down an owl. They're so nice there. So, so nice. But most of the times that I had gone there, they got my side orders wrong. I asked for corn on the cob and coleslaw, and they gave me fries probably got the coleslaw but like they didn't give me my my corn and I didn't know that until I got home so I didn't have time to complain but I mean it is what it is the chicken's always good but I wanted the corn because it's a little less fattening than french fries although I'm sure their fries are really good but that was before I was on a diet that was my in-between phase, stage, time, period. But I just got to shop, right? And I'm gonna get myself ready to go inside. Fast food city. Shop right, can you see it? That's not shop right. Yeah, shop right, that's where I'm going. You only get what you get. So I just brought in most of our groceries and I literally left Daniel's gift on our bed. And I'm going to tell him if they're still there when he gets home to not look at our bed. And then I left everything here that I didn't bring into the kitchen that was not perishable just for now. I left, I like threw it on our couch because and I'm like really hot right now, so I might change out of, I changed out of my shirt, but I might change out of my pants because I'm just hot. I just turned the oven on to 400 because I'm about to get started making some chicken wings. So this is one of the gifts I got from Daniel with TJ Maxx. And then underneath here, I got this at Home Depot for him. It's a stool, a garage stool. And it's Ford because he's a mechanic and I figured he'd like it. Even though he did say he did not want the garage to look like a garage, he wants it to look like a lodge or something, like a cabin, cabin woods kind of feel. And it's his man cave, <laughs> sort of. I don't know. So I'm about to settle myself in. It's just a mess right now until I get to it. So I did buy drumsticks and I bought, I bought chicken drumsticks and I bought, what did I buy? Oh, wings. But I got them in two separate packages and I'm like hoping that's okay to like mix them together because I didn't, I couldn't find a pack with both of them together that looked good enough to eat in my opinion. So, hold on. Oh, that's a good place. And I'm hungry, so I was gonna eat a pear. I haven't had one in a long time, and I bought a couple pears the other day at the grocery store, and I haven't eaten any yet. So I figured now might be a good time to snack on one. My oven's preheating to 400. I know we have these, but I bought more anyway. Because I'm supposed to use this for when I make the chicken. I might have to clean that, I don't know, my pan, my uh, oven pan thing. I got more tea. This one. And I got this for the chicken. I thought the packaging was too cute and I thought Daniel would probably like it too. Flabber Girl baking powder because I saw that you need baking powder when you make chicken wings. And the good news is there's no carbs. 
it's gluten free. And I needed onion powder because I had everything else that I needed besides those two items and this. So I got onion powder. And but it's so hot in here. I might open the window and open the door. I'm hot. So hold on. last night I believe at Walmart so I figured we can use these and taste them with the chicken wings that we're having tonight for dinner. It looks like dynamite. I thought that was so cute when he showed me. Swift burn hot sauces five pack and they look like dynamite. So cute. So we're gonna use that and I'm just So I'm going to start preparing my dry buffalo wings that Daniel and I are going to have tonight for dinner. Let me pull out a bowl. I'm going to need it. Find it. Oh no. Daniel's daughter brought it with her. My boyfriend's house. So. I don't have that bowl. Right? I might go back to my original idea, which was using Ziploc bags. If I can't find something, I don't want to use that. That's too big. Or I can use a I'm going to use our strainer and I'll just put something underneath it because <laughs> this doesn't make sense, but I don't know. Or I can use the Ziploc bags. Um, I'm having a freaking dilemma. Anyway, so before I figure out what I'm going to use, I needed to use, I need to use these ingredients for the chicken. I have garlic powder, salt, this is Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, which is going to take forever because I'm supposed to use half a tablespoon, but um we'll see onion powder and baking powder and i'm freaking out right now because i don't have a bowl what is this bowl what is that i don't know i don't have a bowl that big um That's a bowl. Here's my big beautiful bowl. Really didn't want to use this, but I will for the convenience of my chicken. And I also created the oven for the gazillionth time to cook on here. And I have a clean oven pan. This was from like a broiling pan. And I took the top part off and I got this rack thing because supposedly you should use this. I don't think there's enough room on this to check in. Now that I'm thinking about it. We'll see, we'll see. I mean I didn't get that much chicken, but I don't know, just so many Spatially, I'm, I'm not seeing that it's perfect. Find some measuring stones. Okay. 
Okay, I need a half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, whoa, garlic powder, onion powder, and a whole teaspoon of baking powder. Somehow, I'm gonna get all the pepper. <laughs> How do you, so it's a grinder. I don't think I have regular pepper. Do I? I might. Do we have regular pepper? I might. That would save me a lot of problems. <laughs> no, I don't. Alright. I don't have just pepper. I'm grinding the, the pepper. I have just brown pepper. So I grind it myself. It's not half a teaspoon. I need a tablespoon. What am I supposed to do? Half a tablespoon? Yeah. This might be half a tablespoon. Just about. Yeah, I pretty much did half a tablespoon of pepper. Okay. I'll call this half a tablespoon. And this is dry. Ah, excuse me. Pepper makes me sneeze. Alright. This is dry. So I'm gonna put these in here first. Oh shoot. And then I need one of the whole one of these. So I don't need the blend blade in the container. That's so cool. You gotta see what I'm doing. So I'm literally dipping it in and then scrape it against the top thing here. Perfect. It's an almost perfect half a teaspoon, which two have nickel hole. And that's what I needed of uh, baking powder. Isn't this the cutest? I saw this. The grocery store i had two options that i could see uh, baking powder and i was like i like it cute and i got the pepper um salt i'm gonna have to do the same thing with i don't have salt either i have to find out I need mean, salt, but I'm not going to draw my salt. Jeepers. This might take longer. This is funny, I'm literally pinching it. <laughs> Into the measuring spoon. Yeah, we'll call this a half a teaspoon. And then I need half a teaspoon of garlic. Yum. And oh, this is enough. Because I don't I didn't even see what their recipe will be for. Half a teaspoon of onion powder, give or take, and a nice sip of my soda. 
cut and paste as much as I'd like. And a little bit here for now. I need more space. I got hanger steak for tomorrow. And I got chicken for tonight. We got drumsticks. We got wings. I'm gonna need something to break this open with on my fingers. And um, the oven's ready. So in case you don't believe me. Salt, pepper, onion, garlic, and baking powder. Okay. I got two packages. One's wings and one's not wings. The wings are still kind of frozen. I got bowl in a basket. You know, ShopRite's brand. That was really great wings. I have never made them before. So I'm like... I really want to make them. And Daniel got these sauces last night, and I'm like, what a perfect way to use the sauces. Okay. Hopefully there's enough in there to share with the drumsticks. I hope this isn't like a problem for like cross contamination. Chicken drumsticks, I got Purdue, because, excuse me, those were the only good to me. Creepers, it's, it's barely coating. Yeah, I'm gonna do it on here. I'm gonna lay it out, start to lay it out on the rack, which you may or may not be able to see, and take it from there because this is not working for me. I'm more, I'm used to just, you know, putting stuff on as a Two big pieces compared to the picture. So it says it should take around 45 minutes to cook on 400. Should. Well, it didn't say should, but it did say like it should be around, cook around 45 minutes. Okay. And the point of this is to let the, the fat drip out so they should get it nice and crispy without putting breading on it, you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna have to re-situate these. I'm gonna have to do them wrap around. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to fix this. <laughs> I knew this wasn't gonna work. This ain't gonna work for
So that being said, we're gonna do this a little differently. All right, so the bacon, whatever. Oh, the towels are in the dishwasher. Okay, and it's clean. I was just like, what am I gonna use for? Add some extra stuff to it. This is a weird looking topper. Whoa. That was a lot. I might add in a lot more salt only because I don't want them really salty. Um I might do a little. I'm gonna put a little more of this stuff on it. Here's my measuring spoon. I should just put them in a Ziploc bag just like I wanted to do. But no, I was trying to listen to the ladies' recipe um, that I found on Google. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um. Got my tongs, which are hot, because they just come out of the dishwasher. Hold them down. I don't want to do this with cold chicken. Hot tongs. Or tongs, or call them. Hot tongs. Tongs. <laughs> Alright, um. So essentially, you gotta make a mess with your chicken when you're making wings. Alright, so that side's not covered. Isn't that how they make chicken in the Chinese restaurants? They like put bacon to get it all crispy by putting baking powder on it. I think that's what they do. Whatever they do is good. This one looks fine. Um that one's mostly good. Turn it around. Eventually they're going to take about 45 minutes to cook. Maybe more. It's going to spill out. I'm going to make it so it sits inside this thing. And, or I can move it onto there, but then it's not going to have the height. So I don't know. That one looks fine. This one. I don't want to fat dress down this way. And this one's fine. This side, some of them I have to re-season and stuff, but for the most part they're good. Here's the challenge. Oh, this thing's not running. Maybe I'll put it on top. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hold on. I'm using like everything in my kitchen. I'm gonna put it on top of this. Nuts. All right, so you know, a little more of this powder stuff, baking powder. Oh no, they're coming to get us. I don't know what that is, but I've heard that a number of times, like a lot since we've been living here, like this past week. I'm like, what's going on out there? Yay, yay, yay. I got this new mat, kitchen mat, and it's like bunching underneath my oven. 
I'm hoping they're, they taste better than the mess I just made with this chicken. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put the chicken down in the oven. Oopsies, we got to clean that one anyway. So right now I have this chicken. Chicken, which is going to hopefully be nice and crispy. And around 45 minutes. As per some recipe I saw when I googled it. And I'm gonna clean up my mess. Is Daniel home? He might be home. 